With General Election 2015 right around the corner, journalists have a duty to inform the public fairly and accurately about election progress. But when does this responsibility begin? Local candidates and politicians answer the question, why should students broadcast the general election? Students make up 3% of the population, and the National Union of Students suggests this gives them the ability to swing up to 10 seats. There has been a huge growth in the number of people in higher education since students obtained the vote, with the number of full-time undergraduates rising from 0.4 million in 1970 to around 1.4 million now. A study in March 2010 found that university districts with large populations of students such as Cambridge, Colchester, Nottingham and Warwick were among the areas where the electoral registers were in the worst state. You as young journalists can ask sorts of questions that maybe others wouldn't get away with. Uh, there's going to be 101 channels which are covering the general election but people will turn to the one that they think is most likely to concentrate on the things that they're interested in. You ask the questions that you believe are pertinent so it's vital we have uh, young reporters uh, reporting on the issues that they believe in. Um, as young people you've actually got a huge future uh, to consider and that future can only be discussed in politics I'm afraid. That's the way the world is. Anyone under 30 is being made to pay for things that are not the consequences of their actions. So, especially for students and especially for journals, journalists, this is a vital election. If students report on the general election, it's more likely that students will become engaged in the general election. If it was a bunch of old, uh, old chaps that normally do it, then I don't think they would be that interesting. You have to grasp it, because actually it's your future. It's, it's what you're about, you know, and um, because you're the next generation. In journalist students doing it, you've got cutting edge opinions, cutting edge methods, because it's the, 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 the latest training, that even the kind of like old hacks, no matter how capable they might be, you know, couldn't, well, couldn't really claim. If you bring a student perspective to bear on the election, look at issues through the eyes of students, the things that students are concerned about, that should, I hope, interest more students and persuade more students to go and vote. Huge, hugely important that people of all ages are involved in the general election. Important. I think students love reading student publications and now watching student television stations and reading student websites is really important because you can give their perspective on it and uh, I hope all the politicians engage with it. You're doing a training course on broadcast journalism, this is broadcast journalism, you've got an event locally which is not just important but one in five years or one in four or five years, we've got a set parliament uh, length at the moment. Um, goodness, if you were here for, for one of those years and didn't cover it, that would be strange from my point of view. There is a real need to persuade students to get involved. Now, that, that can only come from them. It's really exciting to be able to go and cover a general election and be on the front row of, I think, a very historic election, one of the most marginal ones in history that's going to change the course of this country. The younger you are, the more important that is. And also, the longer term situation is, in 100 years' time, we could be in a really dire situation with the planet. So young people are going to suffer that as well. I'm going to suffer that. We are starting to suffer that and everyone's starting to suffer that. So we really have to get to grips with that and it's vital that the young people engage with it. These are some of the students who will be key players in Winnell's election night special. A lot of young people don't know a lot about politics. I think the main problem we'll encounter on the night is just making sure that everything we filter through Facebook and Twitter is factually accurate. Uh, one major problem is our Wi-Fi connection. Equipment failure I can see happening. It would be difficult to be talking about results that I may not be aware of. Technical issues are bound to happen, so I think um, just working to a very strict schedule would be probably the biggest problem that we face. Um, also another problem is kind of talkbacks and making um, our instructions to our presenters clear. Getting the data on the night and being able to visualise it in the time frame that we have, of course there's a very small time frame and there's a lot of data to visualise. I would really, really hope that the internet stays up, otherwise we're going to be running um, pre-recorded um, footage. I don't think we can uh, sabotage our speed for our accuracy, so that will be the biggest thing that we'll encounter on the night. So on the night I will obviously be presenting live, um, hopefully I'll be interviewing all the candidates. I'm going to be um, in constant contact with all the OB units, so they're in Winchester, Southampton, Eastleigh and Brighton. I'll be covering Twitter and Facebook and getting as many of our uh, findings out on the internet as possible. There could be so, so many things that go wrong and it's pretty much my job to 
figure out solutions to things before they could become problems. I think it's important for students to um, cover the general election. It doesn't come around that often, it only comes around every four or five years, so I think it's important to kind of take the ball by the horn. Election is really important for, for students, student journalists, because it gives them all a huge opportunity to find a role, excel within it and get as much as, as much back as they put in. The student vote is very much undecided um, and it's very strong. I think students don't vote or their class is not voting so I think it's important to show like students caring about it and then maybe other students will go ahead and vote in the election. It is really important for students to broadcast the general election mostly because it is fantastic, fantastic experience about of things that will, people would actually be doing when they get into real work. Nick Clegg had a lot of the support last uh, general election and he did very well. Um, but I also just think that there needs to be a general more uh, interest from the younger people and um, I think that if we do a good job that we can interest you know, people more and um, teach them more about policies etc. I think it's so important, you know, it, it just, it's going to be there for the rest of your life. So I just think the more you report on it, the better. And I just think, you know, you have to make other, pe other people understand it, you know, sort of condense politics into something really, you know, useful and interesting. The atmosphere in the newsroom at the beginning of the evening is humming and the mood is optimistic. Winnell's election night coverage begins. The first hour has gone really, really well. We've clearly got a massive audience, which is great for the social media to show that it's actually working. And uh, yeah, it's been just really, really successful so far. It's gone better than I could ever possibly have hoped. First hour, graphic-wise, um, hectic, but everything's come off quite smoothly. Um, we had pre-rehearsed kind of templates ready, so uh, we've just gonna been putting the data into there and, um, and all the exit poll data, and it's all looking fairly good so far. Rough start, but smoothed out very, very quickly. Everyone was really, really professional, got everything sorted very, 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 very sharpish. So it was really great to see and hear how things could be fixed so quickly, organised so quickly, and how I could rely on everyone that I was working with. Our has gone really well with the OB unit, so we've sweeped to all four of them. They've had excellent sound, excellent quality video. Obviously it is Skype, so it's not going to be amazing, but it's been brilliant. Um, they've all had great contact. We've had two ways with the um, presenter at the moment, who's Lucy, so it's been a really fantastic result for the OB units in the first hour. The first hour has gone exceptionally well. I'm really, really impressed with all the team and how everyone's pulled together. As the night progresses, the team has more and more complicated elements to deal with. It's gone to just after midnight and we've had a few ups and downs, we've lost a few people on Skype but we've always got them back. The last couple of hours have been fairly slow, um, none of our constituency uh, results have come in yet so uh, I can't really do anything regarding maps but um, regarding the scoreboard and uh, the exit polls I've been able to uh, work around uh, that data and uh, yeah, me and my team are uh, working well. Despite the students' generally positive outlook, the programme was not without its problems. In few hours we've uh, had varying results across all the different social media. Tiredness has begun to creep in now, uh, the team is less energetic than it was before, so it's just going to be a case of when the seats come in from the places we're covering and we have people at, it's just a case of keeping focused and making sure that we do the best job we can. So it's just gone half past five um, at the counter in Winchester, um, obviously, I'm pretty tired, um, as you probably would expect. I think what was quite a big issue was that the press gallery um, had a very poor in internet connection. So um, we have to do our, our live OBs via Skype outside. The OBs have been really good, really reliable, They've given us really, really good interviews, loads of stuff to talk about. The uh, individual party correspondents in here have been fantastic as well. So we've had this great knowledge base to build on, loads of things to talk about. Uh, the production team have been fan fantastic. Uh, but like I say, just it can be a bit stressful sitting there not knowing, you know, exactly when I'm going to be uh, going to be under the spotlight. Well done. Okay, can we stop now? Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> With the night over, the team expresses their thoughts on how the evening has been. Yeah, personally I'm really happy with how it's gone. I couldn't really have hoped for any better, uh, especially compared to our audiences on a normal win or bulletin. So yeah, it's been really, really good, really, really fun, but I'm going to really enjoy the next sleep I have now, a couple of hours time. Yeah, uh, fantastically successful night. Um, 
strenuous. A lot of work done, a lot of maps made, a lot of data. But um, but I'm very happy with the work that's been done. Very tired as well. But um, I think me and Miriam did fantastically. She's just a very good line of communication. Um, not just from graphics point of view, but overall the whole team was um, absolutely phenomenal when it came to that. And I think that was key. The greatest thing a producer can have is being able to sit back because nothing goes wrong. And to be perfectly honest, there was very, very little that went wrong. A um, couple of instances where Skype dropped out and we had to go to something else. But everyone has just kept going, switched to different things. They haven't been thrown by any changes in the schedule. It's just worked really, really well. I am so happy. <laughs> yes, we've come to the end of the show. I'm really happy. All the OB um, units were really good. They worked really hard throughout the entire night into the early hours of the morning. They were all really tired, but I was really proud of the work that they produced. It was really great. Um, they were always there, ready to go. We had a few technical hitches, but overall it was a really, really good success. With how things went on my behalf, um, I'm knackered now, but I think I'm quite looking forward to getting into bed. Um, but yeah, I think I, I think myself and my team did really well, so I'm really proud of them. Obviously the Winchester OB team have been like fantastic this evening, um, they've been a great help doing camera work, being in touch with the gallery, sort of keeping me updated, obviously trying to grab the candidates when I needed them so I could interview them, do the live OBs, so they've been a great asset. Good, just come outside and it's bright outside, which was uh, a bit surprising. Uh, yeah, I feel good, very, very tired. but. Uh, yeah, feeling like it's been a really, really interesting night. Uh, it's been great to see people, so many people working so hard, not just not just here at uni, but also elsewhere in the field. It's been really, really good knowing that we sort of have that, that depth out there. Uh, I think there were, so there were a few tricky moments, I think, with the OBs. Um, but I think, largely speaking, I think it went very well tonight.